Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. Um, just finished an 11 and a quarter hour a day. No, 11 and a half hour a day. But yeah, yeah, 11 and a half hours this time of the year. Bar me. Um, so anyway, we're going over to Exmoor Brewery for their Exmoor Stag. Sure, I've had this before over at the um, Rouse Emporium in Long Eaton. Fantastic pub. Naturally strong bitter, 5.2% volume. Originally brewed to celebrate Somerset County Cricket Club Centenary in 1991. This beer is a dark, amber-strong, premium bitter with a good malty taste, a full hop to aroma and a long, dry finish with a hint of sweetness. Traditionally brewed from crystal and chocolate malts and with blend of four hop varieties, Fuggle, First Goldings, Fuggle, Goldings, First Gold and Bobeck. A beer to save it on its own, or a great match for roast meats and steaks. Like I said before, 5.2%. It's nice to be back in the beer room. Um, yeah, it's been a long day. It's been a good day. I've had a cracking day. Got some fantastic works. Finally broke the back, and we're actually near the end now, at the front of the Newark site. Uh, I've redone all the beds. I've took out. Let's put it this way. I've took out about five van loads of plants. They've all been, they are being planted and being planted in beds at both both locations, both workplaces. So as we can see, it's a lovely amber looking poor little white head going up. Nice fruity aroma. Oh, bloody hell. It's what I need. Cracking day. done that got near the end um just ran out of steam at the end went and got a coffee then went in next door and um in the autumn months i there was an area at the bottom of their garden they've got an acre and a half garden it's bloody massive um they've got an area at the bottom which is just not used for anything there's a hedge there but the soil was rubbish so what I did was tipping all the leaves and mowings all on for it to rot down. And that has rotted down. It's been rotting down for literally five or six months now. Um, so then what I've done, I've topped it off with soil, about that much compost. And it's, make, it's going to make a fantastic flower bed. And that's what I was doing. And then I heard, I, I, I'm in their garden, the back of the garden, and, I, and I'm looking, I heard this noise. What's that? Some bloody um, tractor or something in the distance. And also like these red light things came on. And um, then I heard these bangs and I thought, bloody hell was that? Anyway, um, went next door back into my workplace. All the electricity's off. Says we've had a power outage. So now I know what happened. Those red lights were the warning lights and the bangs obviously something blowing and it's took out all of Newark <laughs> so yeah if you live in Newark tonight I've seen that happen National Grid come and they come to investigate and I said it's down there mate right down there where the arses are and they were thankful for that because it saves trying to investigate going to each uh, thing trying to see what the hell's going off so yeah good old Raggy's beer reviews so anyway on with the beer Cracking day, uh, beer festival this weekend. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to get back out there. Anyway, let's crack on. Malty into toffee. A little bit of fruitiness going off. Proper decent traditional beer. God, my hair's great. Put me out back on. That's better. Don't look too old now. Um, <laughs> I hate it, hard. I can see why blokes, when they get to a certain age, have wigs and dye their hair. I can see why. Because it's so bloody infuriating. So I've, I've, I've always got my phone on me at work. Um, literally, if the boss gets hold of me within seconds, I'm already uh, answering. 
so or minutes even not, not always seconds because I don't look at the phone for a bit but uh, so it's great you know whatsapp is is an amazing platform the only people who don't like whatsapp are those that s skive and don't want anybody getting in touch with them because and then don't want it because they when they showcase their work at the end of the day uh it might not be a lot of work done. um <laughs> yeah uh, i see that myself in, in work <laughs> yeah it, it, mu it amuses me um what i see but uh yeah <laughs> oh dear 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 it is funny um but in any case um I forgot where I was going there. I was going somewhere. Yeah, Bear Festival this weekend. So I've done a couple of nights over time. Put the pennies in the kitty for me to go to the Bear Festival in Newark. So looking forward to that. Literally not far away from my workplace where I am now today. Get the old train there. Should be a good night. Oh. Now at that moment... When I've only got beer review beers. That is it. There is no homebrew. There is no backlog beers. Uh, there are no beers that I've got more than one of. So I'm literally um, at that moment. Is that a bad thing? Uh, no, not really. Not really. Um, I am brewing. So... It won't, be, it won't be long before I, I replenish. Uh, it's a good chance for me to get rid of all the beers on the beer wall and start again. And, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, in March, I'm going to hopefully put a couple of hundred quid aside, go up to um, Cleethorpes or Great Yarmouth, where, not Great Yarmouth, Grimsby. The bottle shop there and and buy a nice amount um, of beers that I've not had before from breweries I've not had before so I'm, I'm looking forward to that you know uh, it's, it's amazing it's like Exmoor I went into a Tesco's down in Salisbury yeah in Salisbury Went into the Tesco's, load of beers that I've not had, and uh, picked them all up. And uh, most of them now have gone, to be fair. Um, and there we go. What a beautiful beer. Lovely, uh, modern, traditional beer. Um, and I'm sure I've had this on cask sure I have at, at the um, Rouse Emporium sure I have and, and the bloke from there I'm sure he actually goes down to the brewery and picks up the casks he does. He takes the van and goes down to pick them up there's, there's dedication you know if you want a beer and they do not deliver to go and fetch the beer And again, you know, if I had my own place, um, my own little micro pub sort of thing, that's something I, I, I'd be going across to people across the country and I'd say, I want your beers. And uh, let's sort this out. Let's get your beers to us in a fashion. And, you know, breweries will work with other breweries to do that. Some may not, but good breweries will always work with other breweries and pubs will work with other pubs to get beer. To get beers that nobody else is drinking. I'll tell you now that if I had my own micro pub, you'd be drinking beers that nobody else in Nottingham is drinking. And for the box stickers, they'd be coming and be like, bloody hell. And I'd be getting them special beers. They'd be collabs, because hell yes. All we need is for Raggy's beer reviews 
it's basically been the lottery. Uh, will it happen? <laughs> I doubt it, but uh, you know, one can always hope. One can live in hope that one day that might happen. Um, you've got a few, you've got a, you know, sometimes the ability to dream and to take your mind off the the negativity of the world, and by gosh, the world is negative at the moment. It seems like every idiot wants to go to war. And you look on the news, and it's frightening when you look in the papers where the head of defence is saying that the British people um, are going to have to be put on a standby for war. I mean, for fuck's sakes, that is scary. Um, I didn't realise we'd only got like 80,000 um, military in this country now. Wow, that's crap. And, um, you know, you'd hope that the Commonwealth of Nations that we're part of, the, the old British colonials, would join together with us to, you know, like in the good old days, to battle whoever, you know, I mean, let's be fair, countries around the world must be assess assessing situations and thinking, right. Uh, and, it, and it just seems since COVID, the world's gone on a fucking stupid bomb, pro balmy process. Um, it's like all the idiots are in charge of the asylum. Now, it begs the question, Donald Trump looks like he's going to storm the presidential election. He's going to storm it. He's going to, he is the next president of the United States. Absolutely. They ain't stop. He's an unstoppable force. But is Donald Trump what we need? Because Biden is weak. He's an old man. He's weak. He ain't getting nowhere. He's not confrontational. He, he, you know, and... Uh, Putin and the others fear Trump because he's not he's not made from them same things that they're made from. It does make you wonder. The nuclear weapons on the table, we do not want a war, you know, no way. So, in any case, without getting too miserable and unhappy, thinking about the shite in the world, and there are a lot of shit in the world, um, fantastic beer from Exmoor Brewery, Exmoor Stag. Um, great to be drinking a beer from that part of the world. Um, sure, I've had it on, on cast, like I say, at the um, Rouse Emporium, the only place in Nottingham Shire slash Leicestershire to have it. So that tells you, you know, it's a, it's a magnet to bring those people to your pub. They've got that beer. I'm going there. And we went and we had a great time. I did a fantastic review of the place because I was so impressed with the beer, with the people and the pub. Um... Yeah, great beer. Would I drink it again? Hell yes. Uh, out of five, good 4.5 out of five. Stunning modern traditional beer. Thank you for watching. See you soon.